Ranking equally first is Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Debra and welcome back to my garden. Today I'm going to be doing an experiment using various different items to determine what actually deters slugs and snails from eating my plants. So behind me here is the start of my slug experiment. So I started growing these sweet peas from seed a couple of weeks ago and they're all growing on really well now. So I've repotted them into these pots with a little bit of plant food ready to start the experiment. Please do ignore all that bits of wood behind there, that's kind of our junk area. So I'm using an old clothes rail to string up my peas, using some twine and of course a pair of scissors. I've tied on lengths of rope to the top and dropped them down into each pot. I've tied the rope to a tent peg and popped that into each pot just to keep it in place and hopefully that'll give the peas something to grow up. So what am I going to use to try and deter the slugs? So the first thing I'm going to try is copper mesh. That's how it looks. Nice and stretchy. Reasonably inexpensive. We've got copper mesh, nice and easy to apply. I've just put it all over the pot. I've also got some copper tape. Copper tape, reasonably easy to apply. Hasn't gone on that smoothly, but hopefully that won't make too much of a difference. Eggshells. I might have to crush these up a little bit finer. I've crushed up the eggshells as small as possible and put a ridiculous amount on. Oyster shell grit. I think this is used as chicken feed. Someone suggested I use chicken grit. And this is the only thing I could find that kind of came close to that name. So I'm hoping this is what they meant. It's just crushed up oyster shell. So hopefully they've gotten the right thing. Oyster shells, again, probably far too much applied, but better to be safe than sorry. Garlic and mint. I don't know about this, but we're going to give it a try because science. <laughs> the chaos that is the garlic granules and the mint. No idea if that's going to work. Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Again, don't know about this, but we'll give it a try. This is actually Andy's. He does ultramarathons. I don't think I need to say anything else about that. <laughs> and a very liberal coating of petroleum jelly, Vaseline, all around the edge of that last pot. And lastly, because this is science, we're going to need a control group. The sweet pea in the green container isn't going to have anything used on it at all. So we can compare it to all the rest and see if there's any difference at all. Now that our defences are prepped, we just have to wait and see what happens. Day three. So far, I don't think there's been any damage by slugs or snails. That's pretty impressive. On closer inspection, the pot with the garlic and the mint does look like it's got some damage on it. I shall continue the experiment and keep you updated. It's been 14 days since we started the experiment. And this is how everything is looking. The control group definitely has a little bit of damage on it. There's definitely something eating this, but nowhere near as much as I thought there might be. The one with the copper mesh is doing great. No damage that I can see. Same goes for the copper tape. No damage as yet or um, any I can see. On to the eggshells. This plant is growing really well. Can you see this? Something is definitely eating this. There's certainly damage in here and there is damage at this side here. As for the oyster shells, there has definitely been some damage. Oh no, look at this. On to the mint and garlic. Um, yeah, I don't know if the mint and garlic is the cause of this, but it is not a happy plant. I mean, look at it compared to the two next to it. <laughs> it's not great, is it? I think that's enough said about that one. On to the Vaseline. 
Now this plant is looking very happy. Again though, we've definitely got some telltale invader signs. Is this caterpillars? I don't know. Maybe some sort of flying beastie because when we look at the lower leaves, nothing's been eaten. Or not that I can see. So that is day 14. Going good so far. I shall keep you updated with future events. It's now day 23. Surprisingly enough, the control group doesn't look like it's been attacked at all, which is really, really bizarre. And the peas with copper tape and copper mesh are also doing really, really great. I mean, everything's growing like crazy as well. And they do keep wanting to attach to each other, so I've got to keep separating them, which is quite frustrating. The ones with eggshells have definitely been eaten absolutely loads. Let's be the state of that. The slugs are loving this plant. Or snails, I don't know which. The one with oyster shells has definitely been eaten down here. That has been eaten loads, but... The rest of the plant looks really, really healthy. It just seems to have been eaten down here for some reason. Don't know why that is. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster, this. This is the mint and garlic. Well, uh, yeah, Chico got into this one and it's most of the garlic and the mint and the soil, so that's that. <laughs> that one isn't doing very good at all. The one with the Vaseline is doing pretty good as well. There's a few bizarre markings here and there, but Actually, it's looking pretty good. So that's how all the plants are looking on week three. It's now been 41 days since I started the slug experiment. Hi, pal. Have the slugs been deterred? Let's find out. The control group looks absolutely fine. We even have some peas. <laughs> it's doing pretty well, isn't it? And more are appearing all the time. The copper mesh and the copper tape are also doing really quite well. And no damage on either of these, I don't think, is there? No, they both look really slug damage free. Onto the eggshells, there's absolutely been slug damage or snail damage or something going on here. I don't even know what this is. Although again, we've got peas. That's a nice looking pea pod. Not the best deterrent, but certainly not the worst. I mean, we've still gotten peas, so I think that's the main thing. Oyster shells initially would had some damage down here. And what is that bug in there? Are you creating any damage? I hope not. Apart from some initial damage, this has done really rather well as well. So there's lots of peas on this too. In fact, I think this one has actually grown the tallest. The one with the mint and garlic has been a sorry thing. <laughs> Someone ate all the mint and garlic, didn't they? Was it you? I think it might have been. Did you eat the mint and garlic? <laughs> you look suspicious. Or was it your brother? No, he's just happily snoozing in the grass. But it's grown back well and there is pea flowers. So there's hope yet. Then we've got the Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Lots of damage in here. More damage here. Oh, and here. This doesn't really look like slug or snail damage though. I don't know what's done that. Is that the most damage one I've got? Maybe. But yet again, not enough to prevent us getting peas. Conclusions? The only ones that really have been eaten, well, physically eaten of course, was the mint and the garlic, but that was the dog, so I'm not sure we can include that. The eggshell and the petroleum jelly have probably done the worst. So I won't be using them as deterrents in the future. Though saying that, they haven't done badly. I mean, is there just less slugs and snails this time of year? I don't think so. There's loads everywhere. Maybe this is a quiet area for slugs and snails. Who knows? Especially as my control group has not been eaten at all, which is really bizarre. I was expecting the control group to get eaten really badly. Did the Vaseline and the eggshell attract the slugs and snails? Ranking equally first, is the copper tape, copper mesh, and the oyster shells. In second place, I suppose, would be the control group, and everything else is in last place. The egg shells, the mint garlic, and the petroleum jelly. Natural slug and snail deterrents. Are they successful? I think the jury is still out. Let me know in the comments below. What are other natural deterrents that you use in your garden? I would love to hear your suggestions because anything I can try to save the garden from pests and slugs and snails is greatly appreciated. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Of course, subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. 
So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.